so all this smog you're seeing is smoke I wanted to get the drone up today it's it's a uh, pretty much a smoke they have like a smoke condition warning for you know people that have respiratory problems so all this smoke that you see is from the wildfires out west and they've the smoke is pretty much made it all the way out to the east coast so this is uh new york this is brooklyn new york specifically so everything you're seeing here is pretty much smog from that smoke actually it's just smoke Very hard to see down south. We're looking into Bay Ridge right now. So I got a big container ship coming out of the port right now, leaving the area, probably going out to sea. You could barely see the sun. I don't know if you if you all could see that sun. Do you see it? It's right there, right above the, the container ship. Center of the screen. Gonna go up a little higher. We're at 200 feet now, we'll go up to about 350. I had to check my camera. I wasn't even sure if my camera was on. It, it kind of was, it seemed like it was dead, but I guess it's uh, it's working. I could see the screen, so I'm just making sure. We are almost at 350. We're gonna stop at 350. There we are. This is a ferry coming out. We have these uh, Sea Streak ferries that um, they go to Rockaways out in Queens. They go out to Sandy Hook in New Jersey. And uh, not too far from here, there's a pier where they uh, stop and pick up passengers. Got a speedboat going by that's what that is down there I don't know if you guys heard that
this smoke condition is supposed to last for a couple more days. But we ha it came in yesterday. And yesterday wasn't so bad, uh, but today is it's really bad today. I don't even think you can see the sun anymore. I know I can't see it on my screen, so I'm... yeah. Sun doesn't set for about another 45, 50 minutes, so. This is looking up north towards New York City. Actually, this is looking towards Jersey City, Newark Airport. Now we're looking towards, we're looking, we're above Bay Ridge. Normally you'd be able to see Jersey City out there, Statue of Liberty, the New York City skyline, but it's, I know from the phone I can't see it. I'm in the I'm on the ball field. I don't know if you guys have seen me. I'll go out on the grass. I'm wearing a white t-shirt. <laughs> so I'm down there. Right there, right in the center. Some people in the park doing a picnic. And then just to, well, in front of me, but to the left of the drone's uh, fields of view is the Bell Parkway. I think we could do some flying around real quick. I don't want to get too close to these buildings because, you know, I don't, you know, don't want to be looking in people's windows and stuff. But I'm thinking we can kind of go over the park a little bit. Let me bring the height down to about 300. And we'll just move forward for a little while. We're at 300 now. All right, we're gonna start moving. Now I gotta keep an eye on my drone. And it's, I'll be honest, there's a little, there's a guy speeding right by. Let's see if we see him on the parkway. No, it looks like he's under the tree line. Um, normally I would fly it further, but it is hard to see today with all this smoke. So I really can't fly it that far away. Law states I have to keep line of sight at all times. So the camera is not enough. I can still see it. I'm actually looking at the drone. I'm not looking at my phone. It's uh, way out there. I hear a helicopter, so let me stop. I'm good. He's uh, he's far away from me. So. We're actually going to turn around here. Make sure I don't go over the highway. I'm gonna come back. And 
leave him out here. I'm on this diamond. Yeah, I'm on this diamond right here. The one I'm about to center into the screen. This is where I'm at right here. So take a little look at the bridge. For those who might not know what bridge this is, this is the Verrazano Narrows Bridge in Bay Ridge. Um, I'm sure a lot of local people know this bridge, especially if you drive over it every day and pay the toll. The toll is ridiculous. Just look it up. I'm not even going to say it on the video. I might make people uh, downvote me if I say what the toll is. <laughs> Yeah, it's over two miles long. A very long bridge. All right, we're going to bring it back. I can see it with my eyes. Come down. It's me. All right, I'm gonna end the video here, but everybody got to see uh, what the smoke condition looks like in New York City. I still got some battery power. Maybe we'll throw it back up. I don't know. Let me see here. Yeah, I got plenty. I got plenty of batteries, too. So. All right, we'll throw it back up. What the hell? We'll go up real fast, okay? We're actually going to look straight down. And we're going to go up fast. Here we go. At about 200 feet right now. And we're almost at 300 feet. We'll stop at 300. Actually, we'll go to 400 real quick. We'll go to the legal limit. I'm at 370, 385. I'll stop there. Do a little spin around. This is all hand controls.
All right, we'll stop bringing her down again in a second. Got about 10 minutes left on this battery. When you don't fly the drone a long ways, you know, your battery power will last longer. Um, if you just, just a tip for the you drone flyers out there, if you hover the drone and you just do it like tripod, tripod mode, and you just want to look around, you can have that thing up there for a long time. Um, I've had the drone up there as long as maybe, I don't know, 25, almost 30 minutes when I've done it, just kept the drone right above me. But when you start flying, you uh you know the further you go away it's gonna what happens is the the drone is gonna tell you how how much battery it has left to get back home so and also you're gonna use more battery power when you're flying around obviously i mean it's obvious it's common sense all right we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna end this Make sure not to hit a tree. Here, I'll show you how close I am to the tree. One second here. All right, we're gonna come down and you'll see the tree come into view. Not those trees, not those, but this one right here. See the dog, that dog was barking at my drone. <laughs> that dog, that poor dog. Dogs don't like drones, skateboards, remote control cars, remote control airplanes. So, I don't know what to tell you. All right. In case everybody's wondering why I have a GoPro, this is actually to, in case I had like an incident and I have to watch out for, um, for like, say like this dog attacks me. I have it on video and I can sue the guy. <laughs> Yeah, I was just saying, dogs don't like drones. <laughs> What'd you say? Unless they get comfortable around it. Yeah. I'm not sure what it is, like bicycles, scooters, anything like that. Yeah. So definitely don't get enough time around the drone to like... Not a lot of people fly them, you know? Yeah, exactly. So. You have good range on that? Yeah, I was up for about 30 minutes. I'm bringing it down because the battery's dying. I wanted to get all this, like, this This is a smoke from the West Coast fires. Yeah. So I wanted to get, you know, I wanted to get the uh, sunset and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, it's got good range. You know, I mean, I could fly it about two miles, but then I'd have to bring it right back because then the battery will go dead. So, you know, yeah. All right, man, I'll talk to you later. This dog does not like that drone. That's okay, because we're gonna land this and we're gonna end the video. Oh. 
See, most people are nice, like, because they want to know about the drone and everything, but, you know, there are times where you will run into somebody that, yeah, you'll just, uh, listen, just all you have to do is go on YouTube and look for, um, my battery low is beeping. Just go on YouTube and look for drone confrontation. You'll see tons of people that confront drone flyers, so. Anyway, we're going to end this. See you later.